Energy is the lifeblood of modern societies, since most of the economic activities are sustained by the right capacity of using and managing energy resources. The relevance of energy is well consolidated within the Agenda 2030, where among the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, Goal 7 is fully dedicated to energy. After this lecture, you will be able to identify key dimensions for energy infrastructure with respect to economic growth, environmental sustainability and security. The link between energy infrastructure, economic growth and development can be described as the extent to which energy infrastructure supports or detracts from economic growth and development. From a quantitative point of view, some indexes are commonly used. First, the energy intensity, that is, the gross domestic product per unit of energy use. Second, the cost of energy imports and the value of energy exports as a percentage of gross domestic product. Third, the energy affordability, in form of energy prices, taxes or subsidies charged on energy commodities. The link between energy infrastructure and environmental sustainability expresses the extent to which energy infrastructure minimizes negative environmental externalities. For this dimension, we can introduce some indexes that refer to the ratio of low carbon fuel sources in the energy mix, the total emissions including greenhouse gases and air pollutants such as particulate matters. Finally, the link with energy access and security results in the extent to which energy infrastructure is at risk of an energy security impact and whether adequate access to energy is provided to the population. In this respect, some indexes are commonly used, including first, the level and quality of access, second, the diversity of supply, and third, self-sufficiency. With respect to these dimensions, Africa is lagging behind other world regions, representing a paradoxical situation. Despite rich resources, energy supply is still insufficient to ensure the well-being of citizens. Home for the 16% of the global population, Africa accounts for only 6% of the total primary energy supply and the 3% of the total electricity demand, with the 5% of the global CO2 emission burden. The African average per capita of electricity consumption, as well as the share in access to electricity and to modern fuels, are incomparably lower than the world average and definitely the lowest among the other aggregated regions. Moreover, energy uses underline the substantial dependence on traditional use of solid biomass, especially at household level, and a very low efficiency in the sector as synthesized by the energy intensity, which is 1.5 times higher than Europe and Central Asia. Access to electricity is limited to less than 40% of total population. Some countries still provide electricity to less than 10% of the total population and rural areas of around 20 sub-Saharan countries are almost lacking electrical energy services. At any rate, and as continental average, electricity consumption per capita is less than 600 kilowatt hour per capita per year, representing less than 20% of the world average. 
Access to clean fuels and technologies for cooking is even smaller, accounting for less than 15% of sub-Saharan population. Energy intensity is almost twice the world average and more than three times the OECD level. Moreover, CO2 intensity is high and almost twice the OECD level. These indicators give evidence of an economic structure that still relies on a very low efficient and not clean supply chains for manufacturing. Finally, the power sector is often weakly reliable in the African countries. Severe and frequent power shortages are threatening the development of the agriculture and the industrial sector and the consolidation of a stable socio-economic prosperity within the region. From the transmission and distribution side, the losses in poorly maintained networks are often twice the world average and contribute to increase the overall primary energy use in the country, reducing efficiency of transformation. The structure of the power supply has a large impact on the productivity of African businesses. According to the World Bank Enterprise Survey, business owners find electricity services as one of the three main biggest obstacles to their activities, mainly due to First, roughly 5% of annual sales are estimated to be lost due to electrical outages. Second, electricity tariffs are among the highest in the world and the frequent recourse to emergency backup oil fuel generators or captive power may induce other consequences on electricity and affect product competitiveness. Third, time and cost to get electricity connection are high, affecting business development. A higher quality power network is expected to rise the productivity of African companies. Every additional one US dollar invest in the power sector may generate more than 15 US dollar in incremental gross domestic product. To achieve this goal, three main areas need to be explored, including first, the development of renewable resources, second, increasing energy efficiency, and third, promoting a local industry for natural gas.